Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Aaron. I am photo retoucher and you can learn, make and create together with me. So today I'm going to show you how you can edit a beauty portrait step by step using my actions. So without any further ado, let's get started. So first thing first, as you can see, this portrait needs to be clean and for cleaning we are going to use three different tools. Bottling brush tool, healing brush tool and patch tool. So after we have uh, installed the actions we are going to click clean and click play and after we do that as you can see we have two different new layers one of them is a duplicated background layer renamed clean and one of them is a black and white help layer that helps us to see some detail so let's get started with cleaning i'm gonna speed out this process And as you can see, now that we are done with some general clean, uh, it's time for the frequency separation. So I'm just going to go to frequency separation and click play. So for the right radius of this Gaussian blur, I'm going to slide this into the left to zero, uh, sorry, 0 0.1. And I will zoom in where we have some harsh texture and slide this into the right until the texture is disappeared. And I think that something like 10 or maybe 12 would be enough. And click OK. After we are done with that, as you can see, we have the folder here. And click here and open. So as you can see, uh, frequency separation is uh, two different things. So we are going to use a uh, mixer brush and start working on the low frequency. Low frequency is the color and high frequency is the texture. So let's just turn off this first because we can see the details on the low frequency better. And for the settings, we are going to wet by 10%. Let me just test this, sorry. And load by 45, mix by 45.2 and flow by 33. So mixer brush is the tool that makes the skin tones in the low frequency. Let's just turn on the black and white help layer so we can see some details here let me turn off and check a before and after what we've done so far so this is the function of mixer brush it mixes the skin tones of the portrait and for the moment i'm using welcome in tools pro s it's a really nice pen tablet for retouch so if you are new into retouching, I would highly suggest you get one because it will speed up your workflow. And if you want to get this RAW file, link is in the description. You can join my Telegram channel, is where I post all the RAW files that I use in the video tutorials. Recently, I made a Christmas pack. It's for the new year. You can get my all actions for a discount let me just check a before and after what you've done so far let me turn on the black and white player and keep working with the mixer brush You can see before and after of what you've done so far in the frequency separation technique. And I think it's looking good, not that uh, on the chest part because it's kind of overdone, but you are going to remove the opacity of that part just a little by reducing the opacity of that low frequency copy layer. I'm gonna do that later. Now let me check before and after what we've done so far. And I think that is looking good. 
Now I'm gonna create a layer mask here and with a white brush, uh, sorry, with, with a black brush and 25% opacity, I'm just gonna As you can see before and after and i think that is looking okay now after we are done in the low frequency it's time for the high frequency or the texture so in the texture we are going to use clone stamp tool and this one is for copy paste the texture and we are using this for cleaning and the clone stamp tool works like this way uh, you have to click alt keyboard by copying the texture and paste it like this and this is the technique that I use for cleaning in the frequency separation, especially in the high frequency or the texture. So be careful when you are using constant time tool because you don't want to copy the texture here and paste it here because it will create some bad marks. So be careful with that. And you have to copy paste the texture as near as possible. And now that we are done with high frequency or the texture, as you can see uh, before and after, uh, this portrait is kind of too harsh in the texture, so I'm gonna reduce this just a little. So I'm just gonna drag and drop this to create another layer and go to edit, fill, and choose the 50% gray, click OK. And it's totally blurry now. It's because we have removed all the texture of the portraits i'm gonna create a layer mask here Control e by deleting all that and with a white brush and 100 opacity i'm just gonna paint it over the skin And now that I'm done, as you can see before and after, uh, we have to reduce the opacity by 35 maybe. Let me zoom in into the texture and check before and after. And I think that 35 is way too much, so I'm gonna go by 30 maybe and check before and after. And yeah, 30 is okay. Now check a before and after all the frequency separation what we've done so far in the entire process and now it's time for some dodge and burn so click dodge click play click burn click play and turn on the black and white player first i'm gonna dodge so i'm gonna go with a 10 percent opacity and 100 percent low and i'm gonna add some dodge into this portrait Now I am using or I am painting on the burn as you can see a before and after of the burn and a before and after of the dodge and I think that is looking okay. Keep working with the burn. So in the burn I'm gonna paint just a little the eyebrows and eyelashes and just a little here by making this portrait look even more fantastic and let me see before and after i think it's looking okay i'm gonna keep working on the dodge just a little more in the eyes i'm gonna add some highlights here and just a little on the lips now check it before and after and I think that is looking okay. I'm just gonna reduce this just by 
maybe 80% and click OK, check the before and after, click on the burn and zoom in. I'm gonna paint over eyelashes by making them even darker. I think it's okay. I'll do that on the other side. Now check a before and after again. Now check a before and after of this entire process. And I think it's looking okay. So that's it for this video tutorial guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. And please don't forget to check all the links down in the description. Let me know if you learn something from this video tutorial let me know if i am understandable or not and see you guys in the next one peace